Israeli warplanes have reportedly entered Lebanon's airspace in yet another flagrant violation of the UN Security Council resolution. After intercepting an Iranian drone that had entered Israeli airspace from Syria, the Israeli military has confirmed one of its jets crashed near the Syrian border. It says it was hit by an anti-aircraft fire after intercepting an Iranian drone that had entered Israeli airspace from Syria. going to ask us to move off of this area because of the they want to clear some of the ordnance or, or explosives or what have dangerous items that might be here you can see some of the damage at this sign right here so now they're going to move they're asking us all to move away from this street because of the this is the first time israel has lost a jet in the syrian conflict isn't it this is the first time, but it's not the first time that Israel attacks the Syrian territories. Seven times in the past few months, Israel attacked different posts inside Syria. But this is the first time they um, attacked one of the drones, the Iranian drones, and it was inside the Golan Heights, the occupied territories. They could have targeted it in the Syrian territories, but they deliberately, according to the Israeli media, aimed to uh, take it down inside the Golan Heights in order to have the plane so they can do more inspection, they can examine the plane, they can get more information about how the Iranians are working on this. They didn't expect the Iranians and the Syrians to retaliate by t attacking one of their F-16 helicopters. All of which marks a serious escalation, doesn't it? It is a serious escalation. So far, the Israelis are not interested, as many of the officials saying, we are not interested in any escalation or a deterioration of the conditions in uh, the northern front. But on the other hand, there is a very important point the Israeli media is speaking about, and that is the scandal of Benjamin Netanyahu, the corruption scandal where he is accused by a list of indictments, and they say that he is dragging Israel to this uncalculated move to a war with some of the neighbors that may lead to a catastrophic result if he goes on with this. What's been the international reaction to this? So far, the Iranians believe that the Russians are going to support them, but so far we did not have any uh, formal uh, reaction from Russia. It's the main backer, as you know, to the uh, Syrian regime and the Iranians in this. They're, on the other hand, known as the silent ally of Israel in the region. They're not interested in any kind of tension or escalation, especially with the coming election for Putin in March. And on the other hand, you have the Americans. Of course, the Americans are going to unequivocally support their main ally in the region.